the distributive property and we're still going to work with forwards and backwards but we're going to add in um, one piece of extra information and that is variables so you're going to start to see a variable or in some cases more than one variable in your distributive property um, problems now but we're going to work through them and they're not too bad at all so I can demonstrate the distributive property with numerical expressions and remember that means only numbers and algebraic expressions and remember that that means with a variable all right, so let's go ahead and get started. So quick review from last time. Let's use the distributive property to simplify these expressions. So I see parentheses, which is going to tell me forwards distributive property. So three times six is 18. Bring down the operation, which is minus. Three times five is 15. 18 minus 15 is going to be 3. Let's try another one. 4 times 2 is 8. Bring down the operation, which is plus. 4 times 7 is 28. And 8 plus 28 is going to be 35. Okay, let's try another one. 2 times 4 is 8. Bring down the operation, which is plus. 2 times 12 is 24, and 8 plus 24 is going to be 32, okay? And last but not least, 5 times 10 is 50. Bring down the operation, which is subtraction, and 5 times 3 is 15, and 50 minus 15 is going to be 35. All right, so we're going to jump right into it with letters, and I'm going to explain as we go along. The process is 100% identical. The only thing is that now, instead of multiplying two numbers together, we're going to multiply two let or we're going to multiply one letter and one number together. Okay, look at the first one, and I want you to distribute to the first variable. 4 times y is going to be 4y, okay? The number will always go first. If you just look at this right here, you'll see you have a coefficient, which means the number in front of the variable, and you're going to have a variable, and they're attached, which means multiplication. So 4 times y is 4y. Bring down the operation, which is plus. 4 times 7 is 28. Now, when we were doing this with just numbers, we added these two together and we got a final answer. 4y cannot combine with 28. So your answer is 4y plus 28. And the reason why they can't combine is because we don't know what y is. Do not do 4 plus 28, which is 32, and call it 32y. That is 100% incorrect. Don't do it. They are not the same, so they cannot combine. Okay, let's try number 6. 3 times 3f. Okay, now we're multiplying. So 3 times 3 is 9, and then we have the f. Okay, my operation is subtraction and 3 times 2 is 6. You cannot go any further. You don't know what f is so you cannot do 9f minus 6 so you stop right here and that's your final answer. Okay let's look at this. 5 times 7 is 35 bring down the operation which is subtraction 5 times 2m okay well we have 5 times 2 is 10 and then we have our m we cannot go any further we don't know what m is so this right here is our final answer okay last but not least 9 times 11d well 9 times 11 is 99 
and then we have our D. Bring down the operation, which is minus 9 times 4C. Okay, calm down, we got this. 9 times 4 is 36, and the C is attached to it. We cannot combine these two in any way because we have a D and a C and we don't know what they are. So that is our final answer. Okay, you try these and then I will work on them at the same time and we will compare answers. Okay, if you are not done, I need you to go ahead and pause the video. If you are done, I want to go over the answers for 9, 10, and 11, and I want to show you a little something extra with number 12. So for number 9, you should have 6 times n is 6n. Bring down your plus. 6 times 4 is 24. For number 10, 5 times 3x is 15x. Bring down your subtraction. 5 times 7 is 5 times 7y is 35y. Then here for number 11, 9 times p is 9p. Bring down your subtraction. 9 times 6 is 54. That's your final answer. For over here, number 12, I wanted to show you an extra step. So 2 times n is 2m. Bring down your subtraction. 2 times 8 is 16. Bring down your addition. 2 times 4 is 8. Now, we can go a little bit further with this one here. So, 16 plus 8. So, 2m minus 24. Okay? We can combine the two numbers there. So, that's going to be our final Sir. All right. So don't let all these words scare you. What we're going to do is we're now going to do backwards distributive property, but with variables. And there's just a couple of important steps that we're going to go over. But more than that is I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so remember when we go backwards, the question does not have any parentheses. Your answer will have parentheses. It is the exact same process. We are just adding in a letter. So here we go. First, look at your, so here's your original problem, 4S plus 10. Okay, first thing I want you to do is ignore the variable. Okay. Ignore the variable. Now, what's the GCF of 4 and 10? If you thought 2, you're right. So put the 2 on the outside of the parentheses, do your space, put your operation, draw your other space, close your parentheses. Okay? Now, oops, I'm sorry. Now, what we're going to do is the same thing as before. How many times does 2 go into 4? 2. How many times does 2 go into 10? 5. Okay, that's the exact same process as before. 
The only extra step that we have is now we're going to remember the variable. We're going to remember, did it go with the first number or the second number? If you said the first number, you're right, and it was an S, so I'm just going to put it right next to the 2. So your answer is 2, parentheses, 2S plus 5, close parentheses. Okay? And when you go through your instructions, and you can pause the video to fill them in, it's very important that you fill them in. As you go through your instructions, that's exactly what it explains. Okay, let's try some. All right, and I've kind of even set them up for you a little bit. So step one, ignore the variable. What is the GCF of 18 and 27? Think about it. You should get 9. How many times is 9 going to 18? 2. How many times is 9 going to 27? 3. Okay, now uncross out the variable. Was it with the first number or the second number? It was with the first. It was an X, so we put it here. That's it. Okay, second one, ignore the variable. What's the GCF of 14 and 21? 7. 7 goes into 14 two times. 7 goes into 21 three times. Unignore the variable. It was a D. It was with the first number, so we put it back with the first number. Okay, number three, ignore the variable. Okay, what's the GCF of 16 and 32? You should get 8. 8 goes into 16 two times. Our operation is minus. 8 goes into 32 four times. We're going to... So 8 goes into 32 four times. I'm going to unerase my variable. My variable was N. It went with the first number. So I'm going to put it back with the first number. Our last example, we are going to hide the variable. What's the GCF of 9 and 30? It is 3. 3 goes into 9 three times. 3 goes into 30 ten times. I'm going to unerase the variable. It was an X. It was with the first number, and so I'm going to put it back with the first number. That is the end of this video. Remember that you can fast forward, rewind, or pause, and you can always ask me questions in class.